Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and good morning to you all. Uh, so as you guys already know, I've completed all of my interviews for Google and I'll be joining Google soon, right? So I've been getting a lot of uh, uh, requests on LinkedIn, especially about uh, how did I prepare for the interviews, what was the procedure, how, uh, what resources I used, and basically how did I prepare for the Google technical rounds, right? So I'm sorry, I cannot reply to all of those messages, right? So I thought let's go ahead and record a video. So if anyone needs it, they can just watch it, right? And get the idea how was the overall procedure and how did I prepare for it, right? And what resources I use. So here we go. So uh, I went through five technical rounds in total, right? So initially I got a mail with one technical round. I think they tested. Uh, whether you you are able to proceed further or not. So uh, I got a mail with the first technical round link, right? In each technical round, you will get 45 minutes to solve a problem, right? And here's, a, uh, here's an advice. When you're solving a problem, uh, make sure you are thinking out loud so that they get an idea how you are reaching to the conclusion or they have an idea of the overall thought process that how you arrive to the solution, okay? That helps a lot and leaves a positive impact on the interviewer okay so you get 45 minutes to solve a single problem usually it's uh, one or it can be different versions of the same problem not two different problems okay so that's at least uh, my experience right through my five technical rounds so uh, i went through the first round it uh, went smoothly i was able to uh, reach to the conclusion first problem was on dp okay so uh, i was uh, able to find the solution i explained the solution and yes again uh, one important you have to code on google docs okay so he asked me uh, uh, to explain the solution also so i explained him then he asked me to code the solution i coded and he was like okay we are good and then after that uh, i think uh, that guy gave a positive uh, feedback uh, after that I got a link with four uh, uh, four rounds of interviews three technical one uh, googliness round right which is basically your behavior around uh, test and after all of these I was asked to go for one more round of technical interview right that's how I got five technical rounds right now the important question comes that how did I prepare for that uh, I had no idea uh, uh, how Google interviews are, what are the level of the question that, that they ask, right? No idea at all. So the best thing is, the best thing that I could have done is that to go through the interview experience of other people who have been through off-campus interviews, right? So I simply Googled for uh, this GFG, uh, GFG Google interview experience. I think I added SDE also. Okay, it's, it's, it's up to you. Just go through. So you see? Google interview experience for SD. I clicked on that and I just went through some of the uh, some of the experience of other uh, people who have been through Google off campus interviews, right? So you can go through this and they'll explain that how many round, rounds they went, what, what what kind of questions they were asked. So, uh, for example, you see round one, this question, that question, there were two questions asked, easy, medium, this and that. Okay. So I just wanted to know what is the level of the question that they ask, right? So uh, they usually pro also provide the links of the similar question because you are not allowed to disclose the actual question, right? So here you see, you can get the idea of what kind of questions were asked. So I used, uh, I went through uh, some of the experiences. I went through what kind of questions were asked and I just went through those problems and I was able to identify, okay, what, what level of uh, question they can ask, okay? And I got to know that Yes, they emphasize on TP, number theory, uh, string algorithm, and graph theory. The, these are the categories they emphasize, but it's not uh, uh, restricted. Uh, the problems are not restricted to these categories only. Okay. And the medium of questions I got to know, no, not just by interview experience of others, by my mine uh, interview experience also. Uh, I believe the questions at max, the level can go up to medium hard, not actual hard up to medium hard only okay so that will be the level of the questions that they usually are so first thing I, what i did i went through the interview experience of other people to get the idea what kind of questions they ask and what will be the level of that question right now important thing is how did i practiced uh questions so uh, what i did was that i went to gfg 
all problems and i actually try to practice you see you can sort problems by company so this is what i actually did i sort uh i just went through all of the problem asked in google interviews and sorted those based on medium and medium hard medium hard and dp i started with dp okay dp questions which were asked in google i went through those questions and then after that i practiced problems for uh problems though those were those which were asked in google and uh, dp problems right again difficulty level i kept on medium hard dp problems graph problems and string problems i focused there especially and for those uh it's not like i only prepared for one month right i have been doing competitive programming for like five years right or more so i was already prepared so i i just want to give you an idea and i just don't want to give you a false hope that you can prepare in one month it is not impossible i'm not saying that but uh, i just want to make sure that i did not only prepare for one month i have been doing competitive programming for much uh for much older times right so i already had the idea i just went through all of these problems right like dp problems asked in uh, uh google interviews and then just uh looking at the what is the level and how will i solve this problem okay most of the problem i was able to solve myself some of the problem which i was not able to solve i went through their editorials and saw that how they'll be able to solve not just that uh sometimes they also ask the optimization it is possible right uh, can you optimize the uh, uh space right currently your solution takes big of an uh, extra space can you can you do it in uh, constant extra space uh, questions like that okay so i went through these problems and this is how i actually practice and also i i, I practice try to practice uh problems from lead code but the uh lead code again medium and hard problems that's what i try to do and there are so many problems i was not able to complete all of those but these are two major uh platforms uh platforms where i practice questions right uh gfg and lead code again i focus specially on these four categories string algorithms graph uh dp and number theory okay and the questions i was asked throughout my five uh, technical rounds i got questions from these categories itself dp okay and uh, graph dp on graph okay and uh, uh, one questions from probability also and string algorithm questions right and these were the questions uh, i got right so i focus only on these four categories and these two platforms i use you can use any platform just make sure you practice dp graph and number theory and strings as much as you can be confident in yourself so that even if i am getting uh problems of medium heart level i will be able to solve that problem okay just practice from wherever you want doesn't actually matter okay so yeah these are the uh, two platforms that i used now finally uh finally let me show you uh the kind of question that i was asking each round okay so round one i was asked a dp question difficulty level easy make okay you will be able to solve this problem easily round two okay <laughs> round two okay the problem with me is that i actually forgot the coast other things uh so what i do i actually keep a text file uh in which you see uh if you go here you will see the actual problems but i'm not allowed to share the problem so i'm not sharing that i can tell you that what kind of questions and on what uh, on what category those were asked so that's what i'm telling you here the second question was uh, in second round i was asked question based on probability okay and i was asked to optimize the solution using uh, they didn't tell me uh, that you uh, optimize using this or that you, they usually do uh, when your solution has some some uh, some room for optimization they will ask you okay can you can you do it in uh, this much time or can you optimize the space you utilize right so they'll they'll ask these kind of questions so uh, solution was uh, i was able to optimize the whole solution that i gave earlier using prefix sums okay so again this round i was like gaya 
क्योंकि प्रॉबिलिटी तो क्वेश्चन इफ यू आर डूइंग कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग यू नो प्रॉबिलिटी क्वेश्चन कितने हार्ड होते हैं लाइक खत्म गया बट नो इवन इफ यू आर लाइक दैट यू आर नॉट एबल टू you will not be able to solve this problem efficiently right but you can give a brute force solution go ahead and do that okay just give a brute force solution and uh, just try to think for a better solution if you are not able to if you are uh, you are stuck at some point they will help you okay i was given a hint here and uh, using that hint i was able to reach to an optimized search okay so if they will give you hints don't worry about that if even if you are able to find an a brute force solution just pitch that idea they'll uh, help you uh, find the optimized solution mm -hmm. they'll try to give you a hint and they see that if you are able to utilize that hint and find out the solution they won't actually give you a solution okay just a little bit of hint so that is part of your uh, that, that is part of your test okay whether you are able to utilize hint or not it's better if you are able to solve all of the problems yourself but even if you are not able to solve uh, taking hint and then solving is still good okay so this was round two round three uh question based on a uh, string algorithm and uh solution was based on greedy algorithm right now again the level of the question was not that hard again easy again right now fourth question uh i can say this is one of the uh actually this the second out question and the fourth out question i'll uh rate these two my favorite actually okay fourth uh, round question i was asked this question was based on graph algorithm and probability i actually like this question okay again the level is not that hard only medium hard okay and just to give you an idea what algorithm i actually utilize to solve this problem dfs that's all dfs okay so based on probability and graph algorithm right uh level medium hard finally fifth round okay and this they told me later hey waka we'll be taking one more technical round just to make sure right so i was like okay i was a bit okay let's not talk about that so i was uh, i got to know later that i'll be having one more technical round okay so the question the main question asked was based on string algorithms so there were some queries to perform on string right again medium hard so before we got to the actual problem i was asked two more question i can disclose that because those question are uh, not from programming perspective okay question first was uh, uh, how many max if you are given n nodes how many maximum number of edges you you are given n nodes and we are talk, talking about undirected graph so maximum how many edges you can add uh, without having cycles right I already knew the answer. That is n minus one. At max n minus one edges, you can add without having, uh, without having cycles. Right? Now the question was okay, cool. Again, the next question, the same question, just for directed graph. Here, I had no idea what is the actual solution, so I started thinking like, okay, in my mind, I was building the solution. Okay, this and that, maybe this or that. So the guy was like, interview was like, okay, do you have pen and paper? I was like. Can I use that? It was like, yeah, yeah, just go ahead and use that. So I took a pen and paper and then constructed the solution and I was able to give him the solution that uh, these many, uh, these many edges I can use without adding any, without having any cycles. Thanks to code forces, constructive algorithm problems. I have practiced, uh, not practice, uh, during the, uh, contest time on code forces, I have solved so many constructive algorithm problems that I was able to actually construct the solution of the problem that how many edges in the directive graph you can have at max without having cycles. So I actually constructed the solution and told, told him that maximum these many, uh, edges will be there. And he was like, yes, that is correct. So I was like, but you So after that question, this question question came uh, which is actually coding question okay this is uh, based on string algorithm there were some queries and all to handle on string so these kind of questions were asked throughout my five technical rounds right and these are difficulty levels of that so overall the interview experience was quite good the only round i was worried about was uh googliness round okay in which they ask questions uh to you know evaluate your your behavior and whether you are a team player or not and whether you can take up uh, uh and own some work or not okay your individual uh, your individuality and your teamwork both of that they will test right so that was the only interview i was actually worried about 
so yeah these were my technical rounds this is how i prepared and this is all i can tell you about it okay so, now advice for you is this uh during the interviews don't panic right uh just just stay focused stay calm you will be able to solve this, uh, that problem 45 minutes is actually more than enough uh just stay calm think start from the brute force solution you just you don't have to uh think for optimized solution from the beginning you don't have to okay give a brute force solution and then optimize it it's a better uh better way to do it okay uh, uh you you don't have to code the brute force solution actually you can just tell them the solution verbally that hey uh this this is one way to solve this problem i can do this and that and that and that and i will get the solution just verbally so that guy will have an idea that yes you can solve this problem uh using brute force right and then he will himself ask can you do it in uh, less time or using less memory so then go for the optimized solution okay so start from the brute force solution this is a better approach and even if you are not able to solve it don't worry they'll give you a hint okay make sure to utilize that and you will be able to uh go through the solution of that if you have uh, enough practice so that your mind knows how to build the solution okay building solution is uh is actually you can get better at it if you practice more and more problems so keep practicing it don't just think about google there are many other companies so just just practice because no matter which company you go uh, for interview you will have technical rounds right so keep practice uh keep practicing problems be it code forces lead code CSES doesn't matter okay just keep practicing questions as much as you can keep preparing uh nobody knows when uh, when you can get a chance to go for an interview of google or microsoft or any other company you would like right so just keep practicing problems and when you are in interview just don't panic just keep calm and start with brute force solution that actually helps build, uh, calm your mind right so yeah good luck for for any of the interviews you have uh, ahead of you and see you guys in the next lecture thank you